Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Philip. Today's topic falls in the smart home improvements category. And if you're interested in smart home integrations, follow me in for a quick review of a cool device. Have you ever had a water leak at home or at work? Chances are it has happened or it will happen in your life. It's just a matter of time when and how fast you catch it to mitigate its damage. This is why today we're discussing smart water leak sensors. This one in particular is from the YoLink line of products available on Amazon. To get this out of the way, I am not sponsored by YoLink and I don't get paid for the links I post. I'm sharing this because I felt like across all current similar products on the market, this one provides the best value. It has a wide array of expansion options while keeping the price low, and that's what I like. YoLink has a central hub which can monitor an array of other devices besides the leak sensors, like windows, door sensors, and even full house alarms. And it has complete integration with Alexa and Google Assistant. First question to answer is, why would you even need a leak sensor? Simply put, it's there to protect your property by timely notifying you of a leak which allows you to address it sooner and avoid expensive repair bills. If you're like most people, you start looking for the leak detection solutions only after you've suffered a leak. But this is a great tool that allows you to be more proactive in protecting your household. So it's never too soon to protect yourself. There are plenty of spaces to install a leak sensor. In your bathroom, under sinks, under toilets, kitchen sink, under the dishwasher, water heaters and basements, especially with windows. If you have a possibility of a leak somewhere, you can put a sensor under it, especially if the water can cause a lot of damage in that space. For example, an air conditioner mounting platform, which is usually hidden in a closet somewhere. If for some reason your drain pan overflows and doesn't drain out via the escape valve, it can start leaking onto the floor underneath. And you would never know until you open the door to change the filter and you happen to touch the floor or you start getting a drip from the ceiling somewhere below. And then you have to deal with possible rot and structural repairs. If you have owned your house or have lived in your property for an extended period of time, chances are that you have experienced one or more leaks. And usually they're not fun, at the very least they disrupt our daily flow. If you are a renter and there is a sudden leak, you have to figure out how to shut off the water and then contact the landlord for repairs. Then you have to wait for the repairs before you can resume your life as normal. If you're the owner of the property, you have to mitigate the damage as soon as possible before it has a chance to spread out and having vigilant tenants who would report the leak immediately is great, but unfortunately, as you well know, it doesn't happen all the time. As a landlord, I would definitely equip all of my properties with water leak sensors and ask the tenants to report if they hear any sensor go off. I'm not new to leak sensors as I've had several non-smart ones throughout my house for several years. They are simple contacts which sound an alarm when they sense water and they work great. The problem I wanted to address is that they do not communicate to each other and there is no way to integrate the alarm into the smart home. So I can be notified of the leak without physically being present in the property to hear the alert. So after doing some research and comparing what's available on the market, I purchased this smart water sensor kit by YoLink. As I mentioned before, I chose it for the amount of features it offers compared to similarly priced competitors. The main part of the system is a central hub, which controls whatever sensors you decide to use through your Wi-Fi. The hub can be hardwired to the internet router or can be configured for Wi-Fi use. At the time of this review, it works only on 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and will not work on 5 GHz. So if you only have the 5 GHz Wi-Fi, hardwiring is your easiest and fastest solution. Now download the YoLink app from Apple or Google Store or whatever you use and follow a few simple steps to connect the hub to your internet. YoLink has several extended version manuals on their website which cover multiple ways to establish the connection. See the description for the links. If you're using Wi-Fi setup that uses just 2.4 or both 
2.4 and 5 gigahertz, I highly recommend setting up Wi-Fi by first hardwiring the hub for configuration and then disconnecting the Ethernet cable once the connection is established. This way the registration of the device on your network will not give you any issues. I tried connecting it via the app and due to the 5 gigahertz interference, it wasn't working. But as soon as I hardwired it, it connected instantly. To get mine connected, I plugged the hub into the open internet port on one of the Google Wi-Fi hubs in the house. The Yolink hub itself is very unobtrusive and as you can see, it sits nicely next to the Alexa dot in the middle of the house. At this point, you are ready to start adding individual sensors, like this. The actual water sensor is a very small square puck. This is the package. Here is the Yolink sensor next to the basic non-Wi-Fi sensor for size comparison. There are four metal sensors on the bottom and two more in the water collection indentation on the top. When any of those prods sense water, the puck communicates the alert to the main hub. It functions as a switch. It is either idle and doesn't do anything, or it gets activated by water and starts using the battery to send an alert. This is also accompanied by the blinking LEDs. The hub then processes the signal according to your settings. Notifications and alerts can be configured to be received via text messages, emails, pop-ups on your smartwatch, or even integrate with smart lights in your home through Alexa. Yolink has several detailed YouTube tutorials on how to integrate their smart home features the way you want it. The sensor pucks are powered by two AAA batteries, which are supposed to last up to five years. My guess is that its estimate is based on the sensors never actually being activated, which is the best case scenario that we are all hoping for anyway. Dry sensor means no leak. The claimed range is up to 1000 feet out in the open, but of course I haven't tested it that far. They work fine in a regular two to 3000 square foot house. To activate the sensor, you use the already downloaded app to scan the QR code on the back and sync up each sensor. It's simple as that. I place these sensors under all of the sinks in a house and near the AC unit drain overflow pipe. If the floor gets water on it, I will get notified. If I want to expand the system, all I need to do is buy additional sensors, just like this. And you can buy them individually. Now only time will tell if the promises of longevity are met and hopefully exceeded. The other reviews I found seem to be very positive. For price comparison, the basic water leak sensor costs about eight to $10, while one Yolink sensor costs 16. Yes, it's about seven to $8 more, but the functionality, in my opinion, is well worth it. As the basic system goes, if any of the sensors get water on them, you will get an email and a notification on your phone. The default is an email and a notification message every 60 seconds until you clear the water off of the sensor. If you integrate Alexa or Google Assistant, you can make them announce a message of your choice whenever any of the sensors get tripped. I went one step further. Besides the voice and email notifications, I also wanted to have a centralized audible signal in the house if there was a leak. So I purchased the Yolink Siren. It is designed to work with the alarm system, but can also be configured to alert you to water leaks. It gets connected through the app to the hub, so no additional equipment is needed. When the leak sensor is tripped, I get an alarm notification which can be heard in the house. Plus I get the emails, pop-up notifications, and announcements by Alexa every minute. All of these customizable notifications combined will guarantee that the leak is caught and fixed as soon as it starts. If you want, Yolink can be further integrated with the automatic water shutoff valves, but I decided that the sensors are enough in my application. So there you go. Now you know about this product, and you can decide if this is something that you want as part of your smart home or to remotely monitor the state of your rental properties. Even if you decide that this product is too expensive for your taste, I would strongly suggest that you install at least the basic non-Wi-Fi versions in the areas most susceptible to water leaks. One day when you least expect it, it might save you a lot of money in repair bills. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit a like, feel free to subscribe to the channel, 
if you're interested in DIY home improvement and smart home integration in particular. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the flip side.